Hey, I'm Ken, and this video is part two of my Introduction to FlowLab series. Anyone can sign up for free at flowlab.io and follow along in their web browser. In this video, we'll begin adding some objects to our game and looking at their physics properties. I'm planning to build a side-scrolling action game, so we'll begin by creating a block that can be used to start assembling the game level. To create a new game object, just click anywhere on the grid and select Create. This opens the object panel where the new object's properties can be adjusted. First, let's select a new sprite to make it look more like solid ground. To change the sprite, click on it here in the object panel to open the sprite editor. Here we could use the editing tools to draw a new one, but for now, I'll just select one of the sprites included inside the editor. Every object has a type, and it's a good idea to give our new object type an appropriate name. This makes referring to the object easier and keeps our game organized. We'll call this object type grass. We don't want the ground to be movable, but we do want it to be solid so that other objects can't pass through it. To position the new object where I want it, I can just click and drag. I'd like to add a lot more of these objects to the level, so to do that, I'll click on it and select clone. Now, clicking and dragging will place grass blocks. And when I'm done, I click Done Cloning in the toolbar. If I make a mistake, I can click on an object and select Delete or point at it with the mouse and hit the Delete key. Now that we have some ground, we can start working on a player object. I'll just click the grid as before, edit the sprite, and select a built-in character sprite. Since this is our player object, we'll call the object type player. I'll select the movable checkbox this time so that the player object can move freely through the game level. Now is a good time to give the game a quick test to make sure everything is set up correctly so far. We can switch to play mode by clicking the play button in the bottom toolbar or by hitting the escape key to toggle back and forth between edit and play mode. Okay, it's starting to look a little bit like a game, but it doesn't do much yet. In the next video, we'll add some behaviors to start making things more interactive. Thanks for watching.